So with students, you could work on claim evidence and reasoning. And so when it comes to math, students um, will have a problem. And so I love to use Cami. So I click this Cami button and it opens up like this. Now this is an example kind of from start to finish. So what happens here is I went in and I went and I typed in this problem. So I just grabbed the text box and I started to type the word problem for my students. Then what my students can do is they can grab this markup tool and they're able to highlight any important details in this word problem. So again, together they have 78 pieces of candy where then they can change their highlighter where it shows that Tim or Tom has 74 more pieces of candy than Bill. And so we're looking for how many pieces does each boy have? So the first thing that the students did is they started to set up variables. So we kind of went to the explain on how we calculated to get our final answer of 22. Students were able to work out the problem and really start to explain um, Bill equals X, Tom equals X plus 34. And you can kind of see where all of this information is coming from. Um, and then they all have 78 together. So again, students were able to use the drawing tool, they could use a text box, they could use the equations that are all built into Cami to support their answer when it comes to uh, claim evidence and reasoning. So then students got their final answer of 22, and you can see here is where they checked their answer. So let me grab, um, let's use purple. So they check their answer right here to show that, hey, it does work. And so then they wrote their claim. So Bill has 22 pieces of candy and Tom has 56. Um, they wrote their final answer here. And then they use the comment tool and audio features to voice over um, why this supports their evidence and their reasoning. So then you can listen to the clip. And it explains again why this why this is the correct answer, how they solved it, and students were able to use their voice to explain that reasoning. So this is just taking students' math to the next level, and I love this collaboration because it first started kind of with three, but I really love how Tim kind of was like, "Hey, we could use a fair model." Here's what I was thinking, um, and I love his version, and I just like how this activity is set up, where students are able to work, you know either individually or collaboratively with a partner to really start to build those math skills where they are using CR to explain their learning.